very good morning students the previous class we have started the chapter 1 crop production and management we have started and we have discussed some topics under the chapter the tar what is crop what are the crop patterns that are karif and rabi crops examples of karif and rabi crops we have discussed and then agricultural practices which are followed by the farmers we have discussed there are seven agricultural practices the first agricultural practices is preparation of soil we have started and what is preparation of soil what are the things occurs under the preparation of soil up to that we have discussed today we are going to deal some more topics under the preparation of soil the first one is agricultural implements agricultural implements or agricultural tools some tools are used in agricultural practices for preparation of the soil whether the loosening the soil or turning the soil we are using the tools are called agricultural implement so why should use the agricultural implements or tools for tilling the soil soil tools are used so for tilling the soil the agriculture implements or tools are used now what is tilling the tilling means tilling means turning the soil or loosening the soil turning and the loosening the soil occurs the process is called as a tilling again the agricultural implement used for tilling the soil so what is the tilling the soil turning and loosening the soil called as a tilling or ploughing why should soil should turn or loosen because this process should occur then only the nutrients rich soil will come out top and the nutrients less soil will go down for so this is one of the process and for aeration for aeration what is aeration gas is exchange occurs in the soil properly so for that purpose we are following the we are doing the tilling on the agriculture field so for that the agriculture implements used so what are the agriculture implement used the first agriculture implement is plow okay the second agriculture implement implement is hoe and third one is cultivator cultivator so these are the these are the agriculture implements used under the preparation of the soil now one by one we are going to discuss the first one is plow the plow is agricultural implements so the agricultural implements the plow is used already we see for tilling okay for turning 
and loosening the soil for this purpose we are using. Okay, and also some other purpose are there do the plowing. The first one is adding fertilizer. Okay, or uh, and or uh, menu. Menu. So what is menu? What is fertilizer? These are the substances which is added in the soil to give the nutrients to the growing crops. That is fertilizer and the menu. So have to do the tilling or plowing. Then only the soil is fit or ready for adding fertilizer and the menu. This is the first uses for using plow. Okay, the second one is removing the weeds. Removing weeds. Removing weeds. So what is weed? Already I told you in the last class. The weeds are unwanted plants which are going with the major crops called weeds. So when you use the agriculture implement that is plow, it is soil is ready for to add a manure and fertilizer and also help to remove the weeds. Okay, and the third one is scrapping. Scrapping the soil. So here, what is uh, scrapping? The scrapping means piece the soil or, or uh, what so the soil, the crumbs are there. What is crumbs? The soils are which are in the large in size. That is called the soil crumbs. So when you use this plow, no, it scrap. Scrap means what? Uh, the big size of soil are become pieces like a grain size. So that is called scrapping. So when we use the plow, so these things are occurs, adding manure and fertilizer, removing weeds and then scrapping the soil. So these are occurs. Okay, now the functions of plow. This is structure of the plow. Structure of the plow. This is structure. So there are two important parts are there. The first part is plow shaft. First part is plow shaft. So what is the plow shaft? The plow shaft is the strong triangular iron strip. It is a strong triangular iron strip. And second one is plow shaft. Plow shaft. So what is the plow shaft? The plow shaft means long log of wood. Again, this is the structure of the plow. So there are two parts. The first one is plow shaft and a plow shaft. What is the plow shaft? The plow shaft is a strong and a triangular iron strip. This is a triangular iron strip. Sometimes it is made up of wood and sometimes it is made up of wood. Okay. So this is a strong triangular iron strip called it as a plow shaft. So this plow shaft only it is tilling. Uh, turning and loosening the soil because of these uh, sharp edges. And second one is plow shaft. 
So the plow shaft is always made up of the long wood. It is a long log of wood. Long log of wood. Okay. So this is a, a main part of the plow. So the bottom part is the plow shaft. Plow shaft is, is a long log of wood. Is called as a plow shaft. Okay. It is the main part of the plow. So this is attached to the bulls or any other animals like a horses or camels. So this end attached on the bulls or another animals. Okay. So it is driven by a man. Okay. So what will happen when it is plow that time it is a tilling the soil. So it is help for add fertilizer, remove weeds and scrapping the soil. So these things are happen with the help of plow. So there are two parts, plow shaft and the plow shaft. What is the plow shaft? It is a strong and triangular iron strip. This is a strong and triangular iron strip made up of iron. And another one is plow shaft. It is a long log of wood. It is a long log of log of wood. It is another one again attached with the bulls. Or other animals like a camels or a horse. This is driven by a or used by a man. Okay. So this is one of the agriculture implements. It is a help for Adding fertilizer or menu, removing the weeds, scrapping the soil. Okay, so these things are others. So kindly make a uh, note of food, it's very important. And another one, the next uh, agriculture implement is agriculture implement is also loosening the soil so next we are going to discuss about the uh, second agricultural implements so that is how so it is used for removing the weeds you know already I told you the weeds are the weeds are unwanted plants unwanted plants that is our weeds so to remove the weeds and loosening the soil so this used uh, this is done by oh and so one of the agricultural implements and this is the structure of the hoe so this is uh, always made up of steel made up of steel there is the bent plate is there. The bent, bent plate is always short. Always short is made up of iron. Okay. This bent, bent plate only removing the weeds and loosening the soil. Okay. And is there any other the big size of soil or uh, uh, crumbs? It breaks and there is a handle and the grip is a and the beam this is attached with the any other tractor or else any other animals okay so this is also 
one of the agriculture implements for loosening the soil and also removing the weeds the implement is hoe this is a structure of the hoe is a important part bent plate is made up of iron this only sharp and loosen and remove the weeds from the agriculture fields okay so this is a structure of hoe okay and the third one is cultivator third one is cultivator this is the structure of the cultivator so this cultivator always attached or driven by a tractor is a modern so nowadays maximum this cultivator attached with the tractor only the cultivator always attached with the tractor only okay so the plow is done by done by cultivator okay and there are some uses so when the farmers use the cultivator which which is attached to the tractor there are some uses uses so what are the uses the first one is save time okay and second one is save money and uh, save labor so within a short time this cultivator will do the plow the large areas so there is a time saved and also money okay so in short time within a short time it do everything in the large areas okay no need uh, uh, too much of labors so it save the labor if when the labor is increased no we have to give the salary okay so here less labors or minimum number of labors are involved so what will happen the money also save so these are the uses of cultivator the first one is save time save money save labors okay we need not to call more labors okay nowadays for agriculture uh, functions or occupations uh, no uh, labors are there so they are gone to other occupation for building construction and also many other occupation so when it is brought to the india the time more labors are left from the agriculture so any of this is uh, the most important save time save money and uh, save labors so now we discussed agriculture implements that are first one is plow second one is hoe and the third one is cultivator okay so these things we have discussed so up to this the first agriculture practices the preparation of soil is over preparation of soil is over now we are going to start a second agricultural practices soil second agricultural practices soil part of crop production it is the most important part of crop 
production. So what is sowing? Sowing means in Tamil, Vilaitel will say. In Tamil, Vilaitel will say sowing. So if there is no sowing process, what will happen? There is no crop production and management. That's why it is the most important part. Most important part. So before showing, we have to select a quality of seeds. Select good quality of seed. We have to select. Okay. So how should be a seed? There is a seed. How should be a seed? What are the characteristics of the uh, good seed? The first character is good quality. Okay. The second character is healthy seeds. Healthy seeds. So these are the Good characteristics, good characteristics, good characters. Okay, the first one is good quality should be there and healthy should be there. Okay, how to select here good seeds or quality of seeds? Take us some weeds, okay, and put in the water, okay. After leave us some time, you see, some seeds are settled down, some seeds are floats on the water surface. So we can select a good seeds. Which is a good seeds? Which is settled down now? That is a good seeds. Which is a settled down the water? That is a good seeds. Which is floats on the water surface? That is a poor quality or uh, not a, a good seeds. Because the poor quality or, uh, or uh, low quality seeds have some hollows and also weightless. Again, how to select the quality seeds or which is the characteristics of good seeds. The first one is good quality and second one is healthy seeds. How to find? Take some uh, weeds and uh, put in the water. Leave sometimes. Some after some time, you see if you see the some seeds are floats on the water surface and some seeds are settled down. The settled down seeds are healthy, okay, and good quality because the floating no, on the water surface, the seeds are hollow, have small. Uh, pores on the and also weightless so that it is floats on the water surface okay so this good quality of seeds and healthy seeds only gives more yielding give more yield okay for example if the seed is not good quality what will happen what will happen is not good. It produces a less yield. Okay. And we cannot sell for to others. Or to market. And also the healthy seeds. The seed is not a healthy. What will happen? The poor quality seeds develop into a diseased crops. Or diseased plant. So, if it is produced, the seeds, what will happen? That also diseased seeds only. So, the diseased plant also will produce a diseased seeds. So, what will happen? That will transfer to other generation also. So, what will happen finally? There won't be no yielding. So, how to select the good seeds? Okay, so these are the character of the good seeds. Okay, and when we select the uh, good characteristic of the good uh, seeds, that gives more yielding. So if you do not select the 
good seeds no that gives poor quality or poor seeds or diseased seeds so the diseased seeds also grow as a diseased plant the diseased plant also produce here another one diseased seeds so like that it will continue okay so the sowing is important process these are the characteristics of good seeds next methods of or tools are used or methods of sowing seeds okay the first method is traditional traditional method okay the second one is modern method modern method the first one is traditional method traditional method traditional method of sowing so this traditional method used the from ancient okay so it is a funnel shaped structure the funnel shaped structure having the long tube with the sharp edges or sharp end again this is a traditional method of sowing okay this is contains a funnel the funnel is attached with a long sharp edges by or tube okay when we drop the seeds when we drop the seeds so the seeds are travel through the funnel and also through the tubes the bulls are moving that time what will happen a man will give the pressure towards the ground and uh, the sharp edges is there no the sharp edges will put a hole in different areas in order and also deep and uh, or depth again the seeds are traveled through the funnel and also through the long bulb the long bulb having the sharp edges the farmer will give the pressure towards the ground so it tilling or else it it put the hole in the ground so yes it is dropped okay so whenever the bull is moves the same pressure is given by the farmer or a man so it is drill the ground and also yet a seed is dropped into the soil so this is done by a long okay so this is a traditional method this is a traditional method okay so funnel like structure is attached with a long tube and a sharp edges okay sharp edges okay so here not only single bite more than two or three bites are there because within a single bite we cannot uh, uh, show the all the seeds it takes time so there are two or three long bites are there so what will happen in the single press a single uh, 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 a pump few seeds are show okay so this is a traditional method okay so this is this is hen to show the seeds in a large areas okay later we through the manual it is distributed with using hands by manually they supply or they show okay but 
This is a modern method. Sorry, it's a traditional method. They are use the funnel shaped structure for showing the seeds. And another method is there. That is modern method. Seed drill. Okay, seed drill. Okay, so the seed drill used with the help of tractors. The seed drill or modern method use the seed drill. Seed drill with help of tractors. So this is a seed drill. So this is seed drill. So made up of iron. The edges are very sharp. Edges are very sharp. So when it is attached to the tractor, so this is piercing the soil and put the hole. Again, this is a tractor. This is a seed drill. So the seed drill attached to the tractor. Whenever the tractor moves, so this is a sharp edges. The sharp edges made up of steel. The sharp edges will piercing the soil and put the hole and the seeds are put inside the hole okay so the tractor also used for the plowing and also with the help of the seed drill help for the sowing okay so this is the structure of the seed drill okay the seed drill show the seed uniformly at the proper distance and depth this is very important the seed shaft should be show proper distance and depth okay so showing is important only but that should be occur properly that should be occur properly the seed shaft should be shown proper distance there should be a distance between one seed to the another one seed okay and also important depth if there is no proper distance what will happen there are too many crops are grown in the same place okay and the depth is there is no proper depth what will happen the seeds are visible so the birds will damage or else will taken by the birds and there is no growth of plants again the seed should be shown in the proper distance and also depth okay if there is no proper depth of proper distance what will happen more than when seeds are grown in the same time or same area, same place there is no sufficient amount of nutrients no proper sunlight will not occur again if more than one seeds are growing in the same place there is no proper sunlight and there is no nutrients so without proper sunlight and without nutrients the plants will not grow well and another one if the seeds are not shown in proper depth what will happen easily visible out the birds will damage the seed or will carry what will happen there is no growth of plants because there is no seed also, seed also. so this is a very important in so showing of the seeds the proper depth or sorry, proper depth and the proper distance it is not followed there is no growth of plant and next what is Next, agricultural practices adding manure and fertilizer. Adding 
many or and fertilizers. So what is manure and fertilizers? Already I told you the substances which are the substances which are added to the soil the substances which are added to the soil in the form of nutrients in the form of nutrients Okay, so what is the use of the uh, uh, add these substances when only there is a growth of plants and healthy plants. Again, the substances which are added to the soil in the form of nutrients for the healthy for the for the healthy growth of growth of plants okay so this is the important definition for adding manure and fertilizer both are substances only whether the fertilizer or manure both are substances only. So both are rich nutrients. Both are contains nutrients. The nutrients only responsible for the healthy plants. So is there no uh, nutrients that are uh, 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 manure or fertilizer? So what will happen now? There is no healthy plants. So if the plant is not healthy, what will happen? No much yielding. Okay, so this is the definition for adding manure and fertilizers. So when you add a manure and fertilizer, no, then only so, uh, the soil supplies supplies nutrients and the minerals. So when the soil rich more nutrients and minerals that is call it as a wealthy soil or else fertile soil fertile soil you may heard fertile means what fertile means man. okay so when we add a manure and fertilizer it gets mineral nutrients the mineral nutrients only increase the soil fertility. The soil fertility means water, valamana man. So in the fertile soil only, the crop plants will grow well. Again, the fertile soil only, the crop plants will grow well. If there is no fertile soil, the plants will not grow well. So for healthy or more yield, Adding manure and the fertilizer is very important. Okay. Sometimes the farmers are cultivating continuously without gap. Cultivating continuously without gap. Without gap. What will happen? The soil, the nutrients are absorbed by the plants. When the farmers cultivating the crops continuously without gap the crops are absorb the nutrients from the soil okay what will happen after some years there won't be any nutrient from the soil so that time we have to add a manure and fertilizer and adding manure and fertilizer is Next stage. So before that, we have to do the field fallow or after a cultivation of the crops, we have to leave some gap. 
the field should be fallow what is mean by field fallow the uncultivated field is called as a fallow we have to give some time for cultivation of one crops to another one crops so why should we give the gap then only the nutrient will replenishment what is mean by replenishment replenishment or what is mean by replenish replenish means replacing how to give some time so the field is uncultivated that is called it as a field fallow the important one what is field fallow uncultivated uncultivated field call it as a field fallow so why should follow the field fallow for replenishment of the soil to or replace the nutrients in the soil for the we have to follow the field fallow okay the another one is manuring 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 so what is what is manuring adding manure adding manure to the soil adding manure to the soil or uh, to the field or to the soil that is called it as a manuring again adding manuring to the soil or to the field so what will happen the nutrients will reach to the soil the plants grow well and gives more yielding this is called manuring adding the soil and next one is manure i told you manure is a substances so what is the substances the manure is a substance i told that is organic substances organic substances so what is organic substances the substances are come from naturally that is called organic substances okay so where this organic substances will come from from plant and the animal based from plant and the animal based only the organic substances formed okay how it is how it is formed when there is a plant based and animal based the micro organisms are decomposed what is decomposed to break down the complex into simpler and absorbable form that is called the decomposition again the organic substances are come from the plant and animal based the plant and animal based are decomposed decomposed so what is decomposed to break down the from complex to simpler form that is called the decomposition so the decomposition occur by some micro organism the micro organisms are decomposed the plant based and animal based so generally the plant also contains some nutrients in their body and animals also contain nutrients in the body so when these plant and animal based are break down the nutrients again reach to the soil again the from the soil the plants absorb the nutrients and grow well after death of the plants after death of the animal again it reaches to the soil and again decomposition process occurs again this nutrients are replenished okay so that 
the decomposition should be occur the decomposition occur with help of microorganism that is bacteria and fungi if there is no bacteria and fungi no decomposition process if uh, dead bodies are not decomposed what will happen there is no organic substance or manure so without manure the soil will not or not get nutrients so without nutrient plants will not grow well plants will not grow well if the plants not growing well what will happen no yielding without yielding we do not get food okay so today we have discussed agricultural implement agricultural implements are the first one is plow second one is hoe third one is cultivator and showing what is showing and what is what are the methods of showing that is uh, modern and the traditional method so how should the how the seed should be shown with the proper distance and the proper depth how to show we have discussed and finally we started third agricultural practices that is adding manure and fertilizer what is manure and what is fertilizer what is manuring what is decomposition so these things we have discussed okay so uh, we request you again uh, in this pandemic situation don't go out unnecessarily stay home stay safe wash your hands frequently with uh, sanitizer or soap water thank you so much see you next class